Welcome everyone, Beatrix here and uh, today I decided to show you my procedure how I make my own uh, artificial nails as a classical guitarist and I hope this video will be helpful for you so it will give you a little insight how to make your own artificial nails so without further ado let's see so first of all let's see the things you'll need you will need cleaning pads you will need nail making form to lengthen your nails you will need UV lamp, scissors. You will also need some really, really rough nail files, some special brush. You will need something called cleanser, this one. You will need nail prep, acid free primer, and finally, you will need the gel itself. As you can see, my nails are pretty damaged and halfway grew down, so this is a good point where I can show you a lot. This is how you start if you already have artificial nails on, but I will show you what to do if you are building on your natural nails. So grab the nail file and file off the gel part of your nail. You don't need to get rid of it entirely. The goal here is to make the surface matte and rough so the gel can connect to it better. Also, don't forget the corners close to the skin. I like to file off most of it though, so my real nail and the gel part is more or less at the same height. It should look something like this. There's that little white part you can't leave on those because air can get under them easily and your nails won't last long. Oh, and file the under part of your nails too. When you reach your natural nail, stop doing the big movements and uh, gently just push the nail file on the surface and kind of roll instead. If you keep doing the other way I did earlier, your nails will get damaged and it will hurt really badly. You know when you reach this point when uh, your nails get more sensitive and the surface feels thinner. By the way, if you didn't have gel on your nails, this is also how you should start preparing your nails. This is your first step, basically. Then the nail prep. This will help the gel stick better. This thing will make the oiliness of your nails gone, so they will be very, very clean. You can skip this, by the way, and you also can skip the next step. But um, in order to have long-lasting nails, you need them. So this nail prep will dissolve immediately and after that make sure that you don't touch your nails with your fingers until the end of the process. Choose acid-free primer because you need the least possible damage on your nails. This one will make a thin, sticky layer on your nail. Uh, you barely can see it but it's there. It also helps the child to connect well. Make sure you don't use too much of it. You don't need a lot, just cover all the nails gently. You can put a little on the front of your nails too. Now from here we can go to two directions. One is when we lengthen the nail and the other one is when we don't. I will show you both methods starting with the no lengthen. I picked a little gel and I spread it on the nail gently. When I reach the edges of the nail I don't go too close to it. Instead of these brushing movements, I start pushing the material closer and closer to the edges. This way I see better where the gel stops and I can control it much better. Okay, let's use a little more gel. Now I also will try to make the surface look natural and uh, make a curve on the top and make it very very smooth. And put a little under too. Make sure that when you put on the gel it doesn't close down on your skin because as your nail will start growing air gets under your nails and it will be weak and won't last long. This is why we do this pushing method with the brush uh, to avoid this thing to happen. If 
you think this video is helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe on my channel. It would help me a lot. I make educational and music videos on this channel, so feel free to check them out too. Also, if you find what I'm doing valuable, please consider supporting my work by becoming a patron. Thank you. After 30, 60 seconds under the lamp, it should look like this. Now it's very, very sticky, so you will need the pad and the cleanser to fix it. The lantern nail is a little bit more tricky. Sadly, these nail making forms are never the same size or shape as my nails are, so I always have to make tiny adjustments with a squeezer. My nails are more narrow, so I cut a little rounded triangle in the front part. And now it fits. Make sure that when you put it on, it's really, really tight and the form is perfectly under your nail. There's no gap because you don't want the gel to flow under your nails. Then we do the gel thing again. Just pick a little gel and push closer to the corners and stop right before the edge. Then you start pushing it on the form too. Try to spread the gel equally. After you feel good about it, before you put it under the lamp, wait maybe a minute, half a minute, because the gel will spread on your nails a little, making this perfectly smooth surface by itself. Then lamp for 30-60 seconds. When you remove the form, make sure that you clip it under the nail, like I do, to avoid damaging your, your new nail. I quickly finish all the other nails too, making sure to spread the gel equally, don't brush, just a little bit. Push the gel gently to the edges and stop right before the skin part starts. I know this video is quite long, but I really think these small details are very, very important. And using all of them can help you to make nearly undestroyable nails. My nails look that bad because I was moving in the past few days and I've been packing heavy stuff for days now but usually air never gets under my artificial nails and they last at least for six weeks or even more. I usually remake them because they get ugly if they grow down like, like they were at the beginning of the video and I just really don't like that. Okay, sometimes if you go with one layer after the lamp, it can look like this. So you need to fill that little gap part up with gel and uh, put a little gel on the top of the nail too. Yeah, 
You know, I also think that there is no one good way to make nails. Probably everyone does it a little bit differently, right? So if you have a valuable tip or any additional thoughts about nail making, let's talk about it in the comments. I wish to learn new perspectives from you. We also have this Discord server for like-minded people and we can also hang out on Twitch too. So this is the part when you make roughly the final shape and uh, make sure that after the rough file you, you go with a finer one like the metal file I'm using and then file it with sandpapers and polish it, you know, smoothen it and uh, make sure you file not only the under part but the front and the top part too. And you know, if the nail you made is a little bit too thick, you can file off the top too. So you can, you can also make it thinner from the top. And basically that's all. So this is how I make artificial nails as a classical guitarist in short. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, if you learned something, please hit the like button and subscribe on my channel. And also please consider becoming a Patreon. And you know, making a perfect nail or a really, really good nail is not enough to produce a warm, rich tone. So if you want to learn more about it, feel free to check out my other video. I covered pretty much everything I know about this topic in this other video of mine. So feel free to uh, check it out. And otherwise, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.